This is me starting two new hardcore worlds. And this is me less than an hour later. This isn't just luck, you can learn it too. And I will show you exactly how I did it with two great methods. I call them the safe and simple method and the bold and brave method. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced player, there is a method for you. So make sure that you stick around because you don't want to miss any of this. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first method is the safe and simple method. For both methods, we're gonna need 35 diamonds to get full diamond gear. From the very start, the only things we need to collect are 16 wood logs, 25 cobblestones, 4 iron ores, 40 coal, and a small amount of food, like 5 pieces of steak. That's all you're gonna need, but more of every material is always useful, of course. Here is how I did it in a random hardcore world. I spawned in the savannah biome. After letting the chunks render around me for a minute, because I used a very slow PC, I punched the first tree that I saw and used the wood logs to create a crafting table and some sticks for my tools. After that, I looked for some stone to mine. I always tried to look around for visible stone, and I found a hill close by with both stone and coal, which is quite common, but also quite convenient. I mined enough stone to craft my stone tools and two furnaces to save some time when cooking food or smelting items. After that, I mined all the coal out, which was a total of 15. I continued my way over the hill, and I arrived at a little cave. I was almost passing it, until I realized there were iron ores inside. I crafted my first torches with 6 of the coal I had and mined all 9 iron ores, which is more than the minimum I needed, but always great to have. I continued my way over the rest of the hill, to see if there was something to find there. I placed down the two furnaces and divided the 9 iron ores between both to save time. I used the first 3 iron bars to craft an iron pickaxe to be able to mine diamonds. After that, I crafted a shield. We need a shield just in case we happen to face some hostile mobs, and the shield can protect you way better than any armor. The iron pickaxe and the shield were the minimum things we needed to craft. But since I had some iron left, I crafted a bucket, which is always good to have whenever you need to jump down somewhere. I explored the area around to find food. On the other side of the hill, I found some cows, so I killed them to get myself the food I needed. I also found 11 more coal that I mined out, and a little further ahead, 5 more coal. I had almost everything I needed. I just needed to cook my food and get a bit more wood and coal to create more torches when needed. Continuing my way, I found a cave with a lot of coal exposed. I decided to cook the meat and meanwhile mine all the exposed ores. When the sun was setting, I realized I didn't get the extra wood logs I wanted to have. So I sneaked out of the cave, cut down an acacia tree and quickly went back in. I had everything I needed already, but I collected all the remaining coal and restored my hunger bar by eating the steak. I explored the rest of the cave, just to see if there was a lower point, since we had to go down to Y-57 to mine for diamonds. But since there was not, I decided to dig straight down. When you always have two blocks underneath you, it is perfectly safe to do this, as you will never fall down if there happens to be a cave underneath you. Make sure that your iron pickaxe won't break before you get to mine your first three diamonds. If you don't find any more iron and you need a new pickaxe, you can just craft stone pickaxes with cobblestone or even cobbled deep slate that you mine on the way. This is of course slower than mining with an iron pickaxe, but I just want to show you that you don't need more than one iron pickaxe. While I was descending, I stumbled upon some extra iron ores, which I could use to make more pickaxes if needed. At around Rise Zero, I stumbled upon a cave. I was clever enough to craft a bucket before, but I totally forgot to fill it with water. Luckily for me, there was some water just underneath me that I could use to make it easier to land. I placed down some torches and looked around to see any potential dangers. But there were no mobs around, so I continued my way down and closed the gap above me, so I wouldn't be surprised by a creeper falling down. When I got to Y-48, I found two diamonds already. Not enough to make a diamond pickaxe yet, but it was a nice start. Once down at Y-57, I crafted a trapdoor to start crawl mining. If you don't know what crawl mining is or how to do it, you can check it in my previous video, together with 6 other ways to find diamonds fast. If you prefer to, you can also just do normal strip mining, but crawl mining is faster. The start was amazing. Just after 2 blocks, I already found 8 diamonds. And this was only 90 minutes after I started this world. 2 minutes later, I found another 6 diamonds. If it had continued like this, I would have made it in less than 30 minutes. But as you might have experienced yourself, sometimes you find a lot of diamonds, and sometimes you mine for half an hour without any diamonds. I wasn't always this lucky. For what seemed like a very long time, I didn't find any diamonds, until, after more than 10 minutes, I found 8 more diamonds. I had now a total of 24 diamonds, which is enough for full diamond armor, but we still had 11 to go. 5 minutes later, I found just 2 more diamonds. I kept mining and mining, and over the next 10 minutes I didn't encounter any diamonds. And time was ticking, because I still had 9 diamonds to go and just 13 minutes left on the clock. With just 10 minutes left on the clock, I found 3 more diamonds. 
One minute later, I found just one diamond. At first, it seemed like it was just one, but after some mining some blocks around, there happened to be two more diamonds. This shows how important it is to mine around when you can. I had collected 32 diamonds in total and just needed three more to complete it. With just 5 minutes left on the clock, I had mined so much that I had to switch back to my iron pickaxe to not lose my diamond pickaxe before finishing. But finally, with just 4 minutes left on the clock, I found the last diamonds I needed with even one diamond to spare. After cleaning my inventory and crafting all my diamond gear, I had 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. But is this the fastest way to get full diamond gear? Let's have a look at the second method. But before we do that, make sure to give the video a like if you're enjoying it and subscribe to don't miss any future videos. The second method is the bold and brave method. As the name suggests, it's a bold approach where you must expose yourself to be attacked by hostile mobs. Instead of mining for diamonds, we're gonna explore caves for diamonds. To prepare ourselves to hunt for diamonds in those caves, we're gonna need the same materials as before. But this time we're gonna need more food to heal ourselves from mob attacks. 20 to 25 steaks would be enough, but you can always get more if you think you're gonna need it. Other food sources are also fine of course. It is optional to also get iron armor, but it's not necessary. A shield is enough if you know how to use it, and you can use the diamonds you collect to craft diamond armor on the way. But to show that you can also finish it in less than an hour with iron armor included, I will also do it in this tutorial. Let's see how I did it in this random hardcore world. This time I spawned in a jungle biome, so wood was easy to find. I didn't see any stone exposed, so I ducked down to get the cobblestone I needed. Just next to my spawn point I found watermelons. Watermelon is not a great food source, but I took some with me just in case I ran out of food later. Continuing my way I didn't see any cows or pigs yet, so I took a dive in the river to get some salmon. You can find them in almost any river if you cannot find any food around you, and they are a decent food source early game. The only thing left to find were coal and iron. Coal is always easily found in places with a lot of stone. While I was exploring around, I saw something that looked like a little mountain with a big opening that could be a cave. I climbed up where there was a lot of coal to find and one iron ore. I used the first coal I mined to cook the salmon. Meanwhile I continued mining more coal around the place. I ate the first pieces of salmon to refill my health and hunger bar. I took a look at the cave, but it didn't seem like a deep cave. So I mined that iron ore and the rest of the coal ores and later smelted the iron ore in the furnace. Since there was no cave to find here, I continued my journey to look for a better cave. You can always dig down to look for a cave if you really don't find one, but from my experience you will always find one, sooner or later. I still didn't have enough coal and wood, so I cut down two more oak trees and mined the coal I was finding on the way. The sun was already setting, so I quickly crafted my shield just in case a hostile mob would appear. When I was done mining all the coal, I found another cave around the corner, but this time a deeper cave, which is exactly what we need. Heading down, I encountered the first skeleton that immediately shot an arrow at me, but as long as you hold your shield up, mobs cannot damage you. The skeleton was out of reach, so I decided to ignore him for now and check if there were some iron ores around to make iron armor. I didn't find any, and when I went more down, I got attacked by the same skeleton as before. This time I killed him. I found an edge where I could see a lower part of the cave, but suddenly I got hit by an arrow in my butt. I didn't know where it came from, so I went the other way and wanted to go down by jumping in this gap I cut out in the wall, but I missed, fell down and hit the floor with only half a heart left. That was a pretty clumsy move of me and a very lucky landing. Next time I should use a boat to go down safely. But now that I was down here I could look for iron ores because I was at the right level for them. And it was indeed very easy to find iron for my armor. To be efficient I started to smelt some iron ores while continuing mining for more around Y16. I even found a vein of 10 iron ores. When I had 16 ores in my inventory I moved the furnaces up to a better spot and crafted two more furnaces to speed up the process. I found four more iron ores just behind the furnaces. When I came back, I could place the last ones in the furnaces and started crafting my armor. Finally, I was ready to start caving. So I went down, and after fighting with a skeleton and a zombie with my stone axe, I saw the first three diamonds already up in the wall. They were difficult to spot in the dark. That's why you always need to watch carefully around you. There were more diamonds hiding behind, and eventually it turned out to be a vein of nine deep slate diamond ores. When I was done, a zombie sneaked behind me while I was jumping down. But everything was okay, since I could just block his attacks with my shield. I always prefer to first improve my armor with diamond armor, starting with a chest plate. This gives me better protection, especially if you do this challenge without iron armor. I continued further in the cave and literally 12 seconds later I found the next 5 diamonds. Always be aware of your surroundings when you are in a dark cave and check if you are really safe while you are mining. There could always be a creeper or zombie hiding in the dark and attack you when you don't realize it. This part of the cave turned into a dead end, but I found 3 more diamonds there and there was a water cave. 
I crafted diamond leggings and I took a dive in the water. As you might know, water caves are great locations to fight exposed diamonds. I took a magma block with me and placed it down in a bigger area to look around better. I didn't realize that I was standing right underneath two diamond ores, but I didn't notice them and I swam back again. Who knows how many diamonds were hidden behind them. This underwater cave was small and there were no diamonds to find, apart from those diamonds I didn't see. So I got out of the water and took another route back to where I started in this cave. Again, just walking by this diamond ore that was clear for me to see, but I missed it. This just shows how easily you can miss diamonds that are just in front of you, or more often high above you, that you cannot see good in the dark. I tried to look more up in this cave, but I didn't find any more diamonds there. But this was just one side of the cave. I knew there would be more to explore on the other side. So I walked back and while jumping I accidentally jumped into this hole. Luckily enough there happened to be 4 diamonds hiding here. I was now half an hour on my way in this world and just 7 minutes since I really started caving and I had already found 21 diamonds. Just 3 more for full diamond armor. I tried to go back up where I entered and accidentally burned myself in the lava. After looking around a bit, I found this dripstone cave at the other side of the cliff. So I ran around and spread torches around to be able to see the mobs there, to prevent them from respawning and of course to be able to see if there were actually diamonds there. I decided to get a bit more iron to make a bucket to help me get up and down more easily. After fighting a lot of mobs and discovering and lighting up the area around, I didn't find any diamonds, not even after looking in the smaller places around. But in one corner of this place I found two more diamonds above me. I kept looking around for diamonds, but there didn't seem to be more to find. Only the skeleton spawner, without anything useful to find. So I had the option to leave the cave, go back to the surface and look for another cave, or to explore the smaller tunnels down here, hoping that they would lead to a bigger cave. Since I had just 20 minutes left, I chose the last option. I was dwelling around in these tunnels, walking into dead ends. It seemed like there were no other caves to find. I felt like I was wasting my time when I even ended up in places where I had already been before. But finally, with 17 minutes left on the clock, I found a big cave. I had only 12 diamonds left to find, so I should be able to make it. While running through the cave, I got several skeletons shooting at me while being chased by zombies and creepers. Don't try to fight every mob that's on your way. Try to light up the cave as much as you can, without wasting too many torches. Once I got to a safe spot, I turned around, fought those mobs and continued lighting up the way. But then three skeletons started to attack me all at once. As long as I could use my shield, I was fine, but my shield was almost broken and I needed a new one. So I just ran away and hid in a safe area to recover and to craft a new shield. While I was there, I saw a diamond exposed, which a creeper almost blew up. Unfortunately, it was just one. But now I had enough to make diamond boots to complete my diamond armor. Now I just had 11 diamonds left to collect for my tools with 15 minutes left on the clock. Now that I had a new shield, I was able to kill those skeletons that were terrorizing me before. Here I found an exposed diamond that was guarded by another skeleton. I continued my way and again I missed a diamond that I just saw after watching the replay back. But just past there was another diamond, but again just one. With 30 minutes left I found another diamond to make my first diamond tool. I replaced my old stone axe that I have used as a weapon with a new diamond axe. After that I tried to jump from high up down in the water, but I missed. Another clumsy move of me. I started running across a new dark part of this cave. I noticed that this area was full of skulk and skulk sensors. I didn't want to get myself into trouble with the warden. So I avoided that area as much as I could. This cave was so big, but it was really hard to spot any diamonds. At least it appeared to be. Because when I ran back, I saw two more exposed diamonds where I just walked before. I needed to get myself onto safety before I could mine it though. After mining this diamond in the wall, more diamonds appeared behind it. But I couldn't mine it yet because I got attacked by a zombie and later by a spider. Finally, when I was able to mine them, it turned out to be a vein with 8 diamonds in total, which was enough to craft the rest of my tools. So I brought myself to safety, crafted the diamond pickaxe, sword, shovel and a hoe. And with 6.5 minutes left on the clock, I got full diamond gear in less than an hour. And now I challenge you to do the same. I would love to hear from you in the comments what your experience was and if you could finish the challenge. If you want to, you can practice with the same seeds that I played in. You can find them in the description of this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.